I'd like us to lift up our voice and thank the healer. Pastor is never the healer. Neither is he the assistant healer. Jesus is the healer. Let's lift up our voice and say, Jesus, we thank you for your presence, healing every sick, restoring health, restoring health to everyone. We give you praise. You are the healer. We thank you for your healing power upon everyone. We thank you for healing, restoring. We thank you for terminating the roots of every affliction. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for the healing power released from this altar. Thank you for confirming your word with signs and with wonders. Lord, we give you all the praise and we give you all the glory. Thank you for destroying the roots of affliction, disgracing enchantment. Lord, we are grateful to you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. This enough is enough service is for you. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. What you don't tolerate, you are bound to terminate. <laughs> the affliction you pamper, you can't hammer. Today, the anointing is for hammering. Hey! Whatever has tortured you enough, pressured you enough, by the anointing fire, they will leave your body by force. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. The anointing is known as the yoke destroyer. We are going to be praying, Holy Spirit, in this service, let your healing fire terminate the roots of every affliction. Destroy the activity of the devourer. Lift up your voice and pray now. Destroy the activity of the devourer. Let the ministry of the devourer in my life come to an end today. Whatever empower the devourer to devour my health to devour my life, my flesh, my mind. We give you all the praise for the fire of the anointing that we answer for total recovery. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Today, no affliction will remain in your body. Amen. In this enough is enough service, the Holy Ghost will execute vengeance against every power of affliction. Amen. Whoever is the strong man that said that the affliction will live with you, today it will go and stamp upon the person. Amen. You are coming out of every torment. You are coming out of every affliction. Anyone related to you that has been tortured and afflicted by the wicked, deliverance is answering for them wherever they are. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Congratulations. Please get seated. This God is a good God. Amen. Love that song, give you me love singing. I serve a God who is powerful. Hallelujah. You know that song? I serve a God who is mighty. Yo, yo, yo. This God is a good God. Hallelujah. He has done in my miracle. Miracle, Papa. You see, you know Sabia. <laughs> so please go and get the tape. I love that song. Praise God. This God is a good God. Can you imagine somebody's in Jude and healing was leaving this place and meeting the person? 
something will happen today. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better, amen. amen. I want you to know that telling a witch confess you are wasting your time. They will not confess. It's a witch that will be sending text message. Whatever we have done, forgive. Jesus said we should forgive. What did you do? I've always said this. Jesus went to the cross. He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. Now they know what they are doing. I forgive you, but I will pray against every witch. Don't tell me they don't know. Okay, why couldn't he confess? It's hard. Can you imagine a padded office and yet lizard enter? Where he enter from? Eh? <laughs> Praise God. Whoever vowed a vow for you, they will aspire to do. <laughs> I said they will expire today. Yes. Devour the devourer. Part one. Second service is spoil the spoiler. We are going to take a look at it from scripture angle. Jeremiah chapter 30. Look at it from verse 16. Therefore, all day that devour thee shall be what? So today God will eat them raw. Amen. And all thy adversary, every one of them shall go into captivity. Amen. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. Amen. And all they that pray upon thee shall I give for a prey. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Now look at verse 17. For I will restore. Pause. If they are not devoured, you will not restore. So the devouring will take place and your restoration will be perfect. He says, if I will restore health unto thee and I will heal thee of thy wound. Say the Lord, because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. I remember Apostle Suleiman said, Until you terminate the afflictor, you can't terminate the affliction. Let's go to Joel chapter 2, as I will read from verse 25. And I will restore to you the years that the locust had eaten. These are the devourers now. The canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I send among you. And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. Please say amen now. Abi, you want to eat half? And praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. Amen. And you shall know that I am in the midst of LFC Refid. And that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Amen. God has vowed a vow that you will not know shame. Shall never means I will not allow it to stay. I will not allow it to come to pass. Whoever vowed shame for you today, it will go back upon their head. There are forces called the devourer. They manifest from scripture like locusts, caterpillars, and canker worms. 
Now, by my studies and finding, locust, caterpillar, and cankerworm are not driven by hunger. They have stored food. So if they are traveling, when, who has watched a documentary on locust? You have watched a documentary? They go in a bandwagon. They can travel 60 miles without stop. If they invade a territory, they clear everything. Minimum per day, 60 miles per day. They will travel without stop. Let's refuel. They don't refuel on the air. They must reach their location for devouring. When they produce, they produce a billion per day. Likewise, in the realm of the spirit, there are spiritual locusts. There are spiritual caterpillars. There are spiritual canker worms. And their major work is to consume they destroy the blessings. They devour time. They create problem. They are joy eaters. Fuelers of trouble. They initiate poverty. And they make sure that you are reduced by armies. They operate as the spirit of the emptiest. A person, an individual can be wasted by the devourers. A devourer can put a family to shame. One thing that devourers eat is time. And make no mistake, mistake, destiny is tied to time. If your time is devoured, your life is devoured. We are going to look at how devourers eat time. And once your time is devoured, you will enjoy life. You are delayed in destiny. Instead of getting the best, you get the worst. So devourer can eat you spiritually. It can eat you mentally. It can also eat you physically. We are going to look at how devourers eat physically. A devourer can give a brother or a sister a boyfriend or boy devourer and a sister get devourer. You will eat your time after uselessing you, wasting you, he won't still marry you. That's a devourer at work. Does it happen? Some after wasting your time, they'll just tell you that uh, my mother did just did not like, did not agree. So let's just part ways. Why didn't you tell me your mother no agree? You know, finish. They wait, 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 wait. And someday we used to collect all the things that they need to collect from you. And before you know what's happening, uh, I don't just have time. My work is not allowing me. Oh, but your work, they allow you that time. <laughs> That's a devourer. Now, there was a testimony I was listening to around 2 a.m. this morning. The girl got married at the age of 21. The man traveled abroad stayed 10 years how many years is she now and when the Gayoyo was coming back he landed at the airport with another beautiful lady what do you call that one wasted years devourer waste years
One young man was busy spending money training the person in school. After she graduated, she just suddenly discovered that uh, we are not just men for each other. Mumu! <laughs> you don't know before! You didn't only waste your time, you wasted your money. In fact, the money you have been, you will have used it to mold all the blocks you used to build your house. That's a classic operation of the devourer. It can eat your time. And you know, if you don't understand the implication of time, you'll just be wasting your time with irrelevant people too. There are people that don't deserve your attention. I'm the one telling you, may I be pastor? If I waste 10 minutes or 15 minutes in a place, my body, they pepper me. Because I have plenty of things to do that I need to do to move my life forward. Hallelujah. A gossiper is a time waster. In the first place, he doesn't have any place going. So let them be eating what he already has. Now, you are not Abraham. So you shouldn't be praying for God to prosper you when you are 80. Where did it go, you chopper? The devourer has eaten you raw. He has finished eating you. That's why the psalmist pray, satisfy me early. Are you hear what I'm saying now? No one that Jesus came and said, I must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day. Now hear me, if you are not engaged in useful activity, Satan will engage you in useless activity. Those activities are devourers. They eat you. They eat you dry. And when devourers begin to eat your time, eat up your opportunities, you may not see another one. Every gossiper in church, I clap hand for you because the ministry of devourer has not finished with you. Devourers eat years. They eat years, years. By implication, they eat up your future and your glorious destiny. Now hear me. Apart from that, devourer eats physically. Ought this daughter of Abraham be healed, whom Satan has bound this many years? And the longer you stay in affliction, your thought is affected. Is this how I'm going to die? Sickness devoured her health, devoured her years. Ought this daughter of Abraham be free, whom Satan has bound this many years? Devour her. The devourer goes on instruction. Spiritual devourers goes on instruction. Keep him bound in sickness. Let him not rise up. There was one of my sons in Delta. His sister was newly promoted as a INEC commissioner. The same month they promoted as I met commissioner, they fired her an arrow that she cannot walk. 
she cannot walk. She has not gone to take over or they just fire her at it. She too, she knew that this one is an arrow. So he called me and said, Sir, we need this prayer. We need this prayer. So I was just busy praying from here, praying from here, praying from here. So I had to call one of my pastors and say, Please go. Just go to represent me physically. I'll be praying on the phone. He finished the prayer. She recovered. I knew she does not have the capacity to wage these people. I say resign. If not, they will kill you. I say resign. If you have not gone and they have fired you, what will happen when you now go? You know, healing is sustained. What sustains the healing is what has come upon you. That's why some people, you can pray for them, they are healed. When they go back, because they are still empty, the thing will collect them back. That's why any person that is looking for healing, I said, I'm not interested in your church, but be here so that you will be perfected. Be okay. Nurtured. Empowered to go back. So I said, resign. Leave that work. Because I know the religion where she came from, it may take time to uh, reorient her mind to understand this thing. So the devil can defy your time and defy your health. But after Jesus prayed, 18 years bondage of affliction terminated. Now, let's put it this way. That 18 years they must have gone to hospital to hospital. Consultant to consultant. Let's say they must have spent good money. That money would have been used to enlarge their business. To build a flat. Let's just assume. Which means the devourer can delay you. It's not only afflicting you, it can delay you. It can slow you down. It can level you to the floor. There are people that have emptied all their savings and bank accounts just to get someone recovered from sickness. That's not been enough. The now resort, sell this land, sell this car, sell this land, sell this car. Whichever way the activity has been devouring you, today their assignment will be over. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. The devourer can invade your mind and your talents. The mind is the seat of wealth. Your mind determines your progress. Your mind is the factory of your breakthrough. Your mind is the factory of your possibilities. But once the devourer feeds on your mind, <laughs> scripture said the God of this age has blinded the minds of many. Once the devourer divorces your mind, good things don't stay. It's only evil things that stay. Good things don't stay. So when you see some people in church and good things don't stay in their mind, just leave them alone. They are still in the camp of the devourer. And my prayer is that they will recover today. Amen. Before some people sleep, they think evil. In their dream, they are thinking evil. As they are waking up, the evil is waiting for them. As they are in their bathroom, is the evil that they are. This evil. This evil, this evil, this evil. The devourer has finished it. Hear me? Even God is helpless without your mind. I, the Lord, can do nothing without your mind. Once the devourer collects your mind, your destiny is shallow. You can never amount to anything. You can never amount to anything. The devourer can also 
also invade your spirit. Scripture says to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Once the devourer invades your spirit, you come under satanic oppression. You come under satanic depression. And I'd like you to hear is, before you are afflicted spiritual, physically, you have been afflicted spiritually. I don't know who I slapped in the dream. That person may not recover again. I just remember now that I slapped somebody. That person may never recover again. It's a Holy Ghost slap. When you are devoured spiritually, you are on your way to the grave. Before they kill you physically, they attack you spiritually. Whatever you see as a physical affliction on someone has been executed in the realm of the spirit. But today, say with me today, I'm firing back. Say with me again today. Today. I'm firing back. back. Your life is not designed for affliction. Your body was not designed for diseases. So if you are afflicted spiritually, you need to be healed spiritually. Before it will manifest physically. The devourer can also invade a marriage. And when it invades a marriage, instead of things to go up, things begin to go down. When it invades a marriage, things begin to spoil. can devour your family peace. Anytime you stay and you begin to quarrel with your wife, don't think it's normal attitude. Satan knows what he's looking for. He knows what he needs to do and bless him will stop flowing. The moment you break peace, with your husband or with your wife, your spiritual defense has been cracked and the enemy can strike. No wonder Psalm 133, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It's like the oil that flows from Aaron's bed down onto the skirt. He said, dear, the Lord commands his blessing and life forever. Life. Dear. So when peace is withdrawn, the door is flung open and the enemy. Once the enemy succeeds in attacking your marriage, get ready, we'll attack your business. Instead of getting favor, you are getting disfavored. But there are silent operations of the devourer opened up by marine powers. Marine powers can attack a family. Foundational forces or cultic forces can attack a family. And they can only succeed when their prayer altar is no longer firm again. The husband is not praying, the wife is not praying, this one is complaining, this one is arguing. When you lose spirituality, (laughs) the devourer will walk on your family where? He will walk on your family where? He will walk on your husband where? From there, you know what's happening? You begin to graduate. You now begin to abuse. See your head. 
coconuts. I know how I was doing when I before I marry you. But since I marry you, everything don't scatter. You find you are the trouble in this in my life. You are the trouble in my life. It's your ignorance that is the trouble. Just know at that point the devourer is eating you. Eating you. Eating you. Let me put it this way. Health is wealth. If you are not held spiritually, if you are not held mentally, if you are not held physically, something is missing. And if you don't attack it now, you allow it to graduate, you will pay for it. Like what Bishop Abiyo said, what you fail to deal with now, we deal with you tomorrow. Hear me? If you sense anything is not good, attack it now. Or you will pay for it tomorrow. Who have seen how honeybees operate? You have not seen how honeybees operate? One honeybee can just come here now. After a while, he will disappear. The next thing you go and call two of his brothers. Are you know what I'm saying now? Huh? From calling two of his brothers, the next thing you don't see 30. From there, they will form a big house for you. That's how the devourers work. It's like this place is conducive for us. You go and bring a two inspector of police. They will come and inspect. They will bring a VIO. VIO will come and inspect. Before you know what's happening, a colony of bees. You will now be struggling how you will remove it. That's how the devourers work. Just as you've been able to understand this, you need desperation to end the activities of the devourer. Sickness is not comfortable. It's lack of wisdom that you are feeling something, you just explain it away. What if the enemy just wanted to use that thing to bring about something big to attack you? You are just explaining it away? You need desperation to end the activity of the devourer. Paul Suleiman said, don't cancel what you have been ordained to cancel. Can you cancel a winch? Don't cancel what you are supposed to do what? Cancel. Don't pamper what you are supposed to hammer. You don't pamper sickness. It's a cause. You fire it back. Wherever it's coming from, let it go. Jesus said, whatsoever my heavenly father has not planted shall be what? Uprooted. The devourer has one mission. Jesus said, the thief cometh to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Now, do you know that what you call ordinary malaria can kill? You have not seen? Jesus. There was one young man he was to write his final year exam. They say he has cerebral malaria. Cerebral malaria. Not normal malaria. Which one is cerebral malaria again? Before you know what is happening, the thing collected him. He just died. This malaria that many of us are using to play, oh, that's killed plenty of people. Malaria, male. He just collected him. Another young man, vibrant. Just promoted in his office and was to go for training in U.S. Normally they say they will run test. They run test. It's okay, it's malaria. 
Let them treat him. From treating him, he didn't come back. He didn't come back. What you tolerate, you can't eliminate. My understanding of the operation of the devourer is to empty you where you will not be able to recover. Sickness empties. Affliction empties. Enchantment empties. They can empty you. Enchantment is high level witchcraft. When they fire it, you will not know that something has happened. But gradually you begin to depreciate. You are depreciating spiritually, physically, mentally. You may not even understand that something is going on. But in the realm of the spirit, they are cooking you. Cooking you, cooking you, cooking you before you know what's happening. Taking time to recover is no longer possible. But today, scripture says his fan is in his hand. And he will thoroughly purge our floor and born with unquenchable fire. No matter the depth to which you have been eating, today God will recover you total. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. The ministry of the devourer can be ended by faith. Faith. When your faith and confidence is expressed, God can do this thing. With the heart, man believe it. This sickness will not kill me. I will come out of this sickness. This sickness will expire. This enchantment will expire. Now, do you know that barrenness is a devourer? Oh, should I explain? Yes, I will explain. Once the arrow of barrenness is fired, is to delay you so that you can reach monopause. But I have good news for somebody here. Whoever fired the arrow of barrenness for you, this anointing is going against them as a slayer. If you are saying amen, say better amen. They will never live to see their mission accomplished. That amen is not good yet. Taking the shield of faith whereby you shall be able Faith has divine ability and authority. Taking the shield of faith whereby you shall be able to quench. So our faith is our spiritual tear gas. Who has inhaled tear gas before? Normal tear gas will be powder. <laughs> I remember what my father did one day. I was not happy anyway. They fired tear gas and he said I should come. And now came, he locked the door. My ear, my eye, my nose, everywhere was hurting me. I said, Papa, is he a mistake? He said, I want you to get adapted to it so that anywhere you go, the fire tear gas, you will not feel anything. <laughs> so if you like, bring powder now. If you like, bring the gum. I'll just lock up for you. Are you going to say now? Faith is our spiritual tear gas. It extinguishes. It paralyzes. It brings to a permanent end 
taking the shield of faith whereby you shall be able to quench we having the same we having the spirit of faith we believe Hear me? The base must be established before the declaration will be executed. If there is no belief in your heart, God has nothing to confirm. Whatever is devouring you now, you can devour it back. I say you can devour it back. You can devour it. You hear me? When the devourer is at work against your work, send the word to work his work. Someone can be a devourer against your work. By the time you succeed in identifying the person, send the devourer for the person. It's a question of days. You go dry like sand. Faith travels in the power of the Spirit. Why? So shall my work be that going forth out of my mouth it shall not return. Faith has one instruction. Until you accomplish, don't come back. So if the devil feels that he can fire an arrow of the devourer for you, relax yourself. It's time to give them back. I say it's time to give them back. So all you just need to do is to be sending the word. Sending the word. Sending the word. I remember Bishop Abiyo was um, um, talking about a testimony of a brother. He caught light in this scripture. The enemy was firing arrow of miscarriage against the wife through dream. Guess what happened? By the time he understood the word, you just speak the word every day, morning, evening, night. But when he's in the office, he will be firing the word for the wife. Firing the word for the wife. Before you know what's happening, the person that shot the arrow expired. Expired. Hear me? Your devourer will expire. Even if a witch is praying for you, monitoring you, so that you will not amount to anything. Hear me? Learn this principle for wars. Let your mouth not be dry of the word. Be fire in the word. The only thing they need is the word. Because as you send the word, God must appear. Don't watch it. Don't explain it. All you need, send the word. Let God appear in the scene. We have in the same spirit of faith. We believe, which means we are confident that the word must work. <laughs> The days of your devourer, they are numbered. Anyone devouring you, any affliction and power to swallow you will be swallowed today. If you are saying amen, say better amen. So you need faith in God. He said, I am the Lord that healed thee. Which means I am going to recover you from all this affliction. Faith is the capital treatment for every sickness. Because wherever faith is released, God's hand must be seen. Wherever faith is released, God's hand must be seen. Faith is the only thing that can enable us to take our heritage of health. I wish above all things that that may prosper and be in health. Do you know why the word will work? Do you know why the word will work? Jesus said, this word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are what? Life. And Job 33 verse 4, he said, the breath of the almighty has made me and the spirit of the Lord has given me life. So it is the breath that brings about the healing of every organ, tissue, cells in our body. We are clay. But all the organs came by the breath of the spirit. For by him all things were made. So whatever has been unmade, tampered with in your body, 
comes under the healing power of the word. Believe the Lord thy God and thou shalt be established. Believe also his prophets, so shall you prosper. Hear me? Everybody needs a prophet to remain healthy and alive. What prophets do is to speak and prophesy for you. What prophets do is to cause the sickness, cause the affliction. Whoever is shooting arrow of affliction for you, today I'm sending it back for them to wear it. They will wear the garment of affliction. They will wear the garment of disease. And lastly, before we rise up to pray, the Holy Ghost never comes until faith is pictured. The Holy Ghost never comes. He pictures our faith. He pictures our faith. That man at the beautiful gate in John uh, Acts chapter 3, scripture said, and when they have perceived in their heart that this man had faith to be healed, God perceives our faith before the anointing will be released in our favor. Now oil is what is poured, but what goes into action is the spirit of the Lord, much more the healing spirit of God. When the Holy Ghost comes, it doesn't come to pamper. It comes to hammer. It comes to what? Hammer. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. And it shall come to pass in that day that his body, that is the body of affliction, the body of the devourer, shall be taken away from thy shoulder. Because affliction gives you demonic responsibility. So every evil load that Satan has put upon you, we go back to the sender today. And his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be what? Shall be pampered. Shall be tolerated. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. To destroy means to waste. So whatever wants to waste you, the anointing will waste them. Any affliction that is eating you internally, the anointing will waste that affliction. Any power behind that affliction will be wasted by fire. If you are saying amen, say better, amen. Amen. So the anointing, Jesus said, (laughs) the thief is come to kill, to destroy. But I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. First John 3, 8. The son of man is come that he will destroy all the works of the devil. So it's not only the devil that is a destroyer. There is a higher destroyer. And that destroying power is manifested in the anointing. I make a decree on this altar. Any sickness that have followed you here, by vengeance they will leave you by fire. By the vengeance of God, they will leave you by fire. Any coven where they are sponsoring enchantment for you, I command their altar to backfire and swallow them. Whoever is shooting an arrow of affliction against you, I command let the afflictor be wasted. Say amen like a believer. Today, any deep root affliction has formed in your body. It will be swallowed up by fire. It will be swallowed up by fire. No sickness says no to the master. I say to one, go and they go. And to another, come and they come. I speak for with spiritual authority. Any stubborn sickness, every mysterious affliction, that has been eating anyone up now by the vengeance of the anointed. Let them be uprooted. Let them be destroyed. I prophesy, let them expire. Everybody rise to your feet. You are going to pray. Please, don't tolerate, even if a doctor has given you a medical report that um, you don't stand a chance. 
that that devil is a bastard no sickness is permitted to expire you hear me no doctor has the power to write you off when jesus has signed you in are you hearing what i'm saying now that affliction will expire today enough is enough means i cannot tolerate it anymore you are going to pray with desperation because the healer cannot say no come tomorrow when he can do it for you today so you are going to pray holy ghost you are the yoke destroyer let your fire enter into every part of my body execute judgment upon every sickness judge the root of every affliction cause every affliction to expire pray from the depth of your heart because something is answering for you right now i want you to pray pray just go ahead and pray because i'm still going to pray for you let the root of every affliction let the root of every affliction any affliction devouring me pray for your family also Pray for anyone close to you that has been afflicted. Lekutuna ezate rapa. Jedoki etate. Implodo esunata. Pekus ika ekrata. Jesusia ikorate peno dusaleta. Holy Ghost. Let your healing fire swallow every devourer. Every affliction. Swallow every devourer. Whatever is devouring my heart. Devouring my body. Devouring my mind. Devouring my spirit. Jekuzize. Ikotareta, let your fire swallow the roots of every affliction. I cause the roots of every affliction. I cause the roots of every disease. Powers behind the affliction. I cause you in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft personality. Sponsoring affliction. Moving objects in the body. I curse you in the name of Jesus. I command your roots to dry up. Nedo. Zizo. Ekloriata. Enake. Ekutosia peta. Jekutete. Iredono sutapa. Pedo Lusaneta Pedo Lusaneta Izudu Ekraletaya Lekusu Penadialos Engaga Ruse Tus Kapale Zutekiketus Entakekutus Shakukarialetas Entekredia Fire of God Sweep through every part with your fire. Burn every chaff. Anyone under the sound of my voice, Holy Ghost, let your consuming fire, let your devouring fire, devour the devourer. Swallow every affliction. Swallow every affliction. Swallow every affliction. Whatever is eating up the wealth, whatever is eating up the health, whatever is eating up the marriage of anyone, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, be burnt off now, be swallowed up now. <clears throat> Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
All eyes closed, all heads bow. You are here, you are not born again. Thank God for the prayer we have prayed. But hear me, you need to be made whole now. And to be made whole, Jesus must have his way into your heart. You can be in church and not be in Christ. Wherever you are, put your right hand on your chest and pray this prayer after me. And say with me, Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. If you pray that prayer with me, please come quickly. I want to pray with you wherever you are. Put your hands together for Jesus. Just come right now. Come, come, come. The reason why you are coming. They have confessed Jesus as their Lord and as their Savior. And I speak forth with authority. Their reproach is wiped away. Amen. Every legal hold of the devil over your life is crushed today. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better. Amen. amen. Stand here now. Everybody lift up your right hand. I pray for you. By the healing fire of God. And by the vengeance of the anointing. I command your devourer to be devoured. Yeah. Any human devourer. Witchcraft devourer. Occultic devourer. Devouring your life. I command vengeance to be executed upon them now. The witch that is eating your pregnancy. I command them to die by fire. I saw a sister crying but I won't mention her name. I pray for you. If God's servant Bishop Oyede sent me to LFC Refeed, whoever is that principality eating up your pregnancy, swear up and die. Swell up and die. Swell up and die. The witch that is monitoring your mirror so that they can waste your years. I command by the vengeance of the anointing. Let thunder strike and kill their high priest. Let thunder strike and kill their sponsor. Let thunder strike and kill their altar. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Wherever they locked you up with evil rope, I speak for the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let the evil cord be swallowed up now. Amen. Every marine attack devouring your life, sponsoring affliction for you, Scatter by fire. All day that devour you. Whoever has joined mouth to mouth. To devour your wealth. Devour your career. Devour your family. I release the spirit of the MTS against them. I release the spirit of the MTS against them. They will be as chaff. They will be as a tin of naught. I command them to go into wilderness. The strong man sponsoring the devourer against you. Fall down and die. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, I decree whatever they have planted. Which God did not permit. Let them be swallowed up in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. If you have your bottle of oil, you bring it out. If you don't have, borrow. Attach, quick, quick. Look for somebody to attach. Lift up that shot of oil now. If any person doesn't have, just put small, small. Borrow the person small. 
Please borrow the person smaller. Don't give them plenty. I said only small. So that when they are through, they will go and buy their own. He says his fan is in his hand. And he will thoroughly purge our floor. And burn with unquenchable fire. Whatever is eating you mysteriously and internally. Let the Holy Ghost fire. Sweep through your body. Burn the chaff and flush them out. Burn the chaff and flush them out. I decree by the oil in your hand and in your bottle. Whatever is tormenting your children. Tormenting your business. Afflicting your career. Afflicting your marriage. Let them be swallowed up by fire. In the name of Jesus. From today. Your wasted years shall be recovered in full. Your wasted years will be recovered in full. Your wasted years will be recovered in full. He said for your shame I will give you double. Double favor. Double breakthrough. Double lifting. Double increase. Twins for your miracle babies. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Double promotion. Double contract. Every blessing must come double. In Jesus' name we pray. As you take this oil, the breath of the Holy Ghost perfect your health. Low sperm counts be healed now. Weak ovaries be healed now. Blocked fallopian tube be healed now. Hepatitis be swallowed up now. High blood pressure be deflated now. HIV be wiped out now. SS changed to AA by fire. Skin affliction be consumed now. Bind eyesight be healed now. Witchcraft poison be flushed out now. Say amen like a believer. That witchcraft coven that they used to prepare food for you. Their altar catch fire in the name of Jesus. That witchcraft injection that they fired into your body. I command it flush out in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Drink the oil now. Whatever is causing obstruction in your body, I decree perfection. If you are saying amen, say better amen. You are blessed. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Turn and follow this man now. Affliction will not rise the second time. I say again, affliction will not rise the second time. If you are saying amen, say better amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Please it. Hear me? Affliction will not rise the second time. Any witch that appears in your dream, the dagger of forgetting will kill the person. Whoever is shooting arrow for you and they are covering their face with marks and sponsoring the arrow, I command vengeance to hit them this week. I command vengeance to hit them this week. The person sponsoring a row from you in the village will die this week. If you are saying amen, say better amen. You are recovering permanently. No affliction will be traceable to your body again. In the name of Jesus. It is done. It is done. As of a God who is powerful. Eh? Why are you are in trouble? Okay, that's your rehearsal for this week. Until you know this song, don't, don't come and sing. In Jesus' mighty name. You are blessed. I say you are blessed. Tomorrow, there will be financial alerts. Make sure you don't miss that prayer. 
I will show you how prophecy they call money. In Jesus' mighty name. How many of you need money? Okay. So I'm expecting you by 5 p.m. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so.